Here we have a drawing that has some details in it, and the details have been drawn in model space, and they're being shown through in uh, a paper space model viewport in paper space. So there are a number of problems that we run into with this, and so I'd like to go through one of those. As you can see on the, the detail on the left, the text size is way too big. By the way, these are 11 by 17 sheets, but still it's, it's way too big on the left and it's too small on the right. Again, our standard is to keep with the L80 or 0 .08 and simplex style. So I'm going to show you how to quickly fix these if you run into this problem. So let's assume that the detail that you have here is, uh, is the type of detail that uh, you want and it's of the, the correct size you want. So in order to fix this and not change a lot of stuff in here except for the text size, we can double click inside here and type in CH space for change space. We press enter and then while we're in the model viewport we just grab everything that we want and we hit enter and then it says set the source active viewport and press enter to continue. Well the, the active viewport is the one I'm in and so when I press enter there now all of these things are in paper space and how I can tell that I'm in paper space is because uh, of, the, of the icon here and my cursor goes all the way out to the edges of the drawing area. So this one is still in model space and I cannot grab anything until I pop into it and then I can grab stuff. So back to this one. We have this um, detail. It's the same exact size as it was before but we need to fix these these um, text sizes. And by the way, when we set a drawing size, anytime we're talking about a drawing scale being set in CAD, that is specifically only done for labeling and, and uh, uh, annotating purposes. Because everything else we draw as a one-to-one -one scale, whatever that scale is. If, if, if we want something ten and a half feet in the field, then in model space we draw it as ten and a half, and then we show it as a one to twenty scale or one to thirty scale or whatever, just to be able to place that onto a piece of paper. And it's only the text height that um, we're we're worried about when we set scales. That's the whole purpose behind scales in AutoCAD is only for annotating. So when we look at this, we can we know that these are too big. These dimensions are too big. And to fix this, what we can do very quickly is just select one of them, right-click, go to Select Similar. Then while they're selected, we hit the CH command for Change Properties. And when we do this, this sidebar comes up, and the arrowhead size is 0.08. That should be fine. And as we scroll down here, we see that the text is 0.08. So that's fine, but the problem is on the fit, this is a, a dim scale of 3.06 and it should be 1. When I key in a 1 here, watch the detail, and you'll notice that all of those text sizes are now in the correct size. Very quick. Now, the other thing, oh, by the way, since I pulled all this stuff into paper space, I can just get rid of this model space viewport, and I'm just going to erase it. Our detail stays here. Uh, now, these are a different animal. These leaders are a different animal than, than this uh, style here. And so one of the things we notice is when we click on these, this is a multi-leader. And we, this, these are fairly limiting, and I'd rather not ever use multi-leader again. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo these. I'm going to set its style, and the only way to, to, to reverse this issue is just to redo it again. So I type in lead, L-E-A-D. I'm going to just go, and go to the N-E-A, F-8. And this may come in incorrectly, which it looks like it's going to. Um, so... I'm going to type adjust 
a banner as needed. And you can see that the whole thing came in way bigger than, than what it is. It's because of my dim scale, scale was not, or my dimension was not set accordingly. So for this first one, it was kind of a test. I want to erase that. I want to go DDIM uh, for dim dialog. And I just want to go standard. And we shouldn't have a bunch of these in here. Really, standard and overrides are the, really the only two that we're looking at. Um, I'm not sure if we can delete these that are un not being used. In fact, we can. And it's a lot easier to, to deal with and manage one type of dimension. So I'm even going get, to get rid of that. We're just going to use the standard. And that should be what we're looking at. Let's go inside and let's take a look at the, the standard configuration of standard, of the standard dim style. And the scale factor is fine. Let's start over here on the, on the left-hand side. And we have a um, uh, lines. These lines look, look fine to me. Symbols and arrow, arrows. The, the arrowhead should be approximately the same length as the text height. So that's fine. Um, the rest of this is fine. We can leave those all, all the same way. It should be uh, a dim style, which is simplex and 0.08, horizontal, centered. Everything else looks fine here. This is the thing that we want to make sure that this is this stays at one for paper space. In a twenty in a twenty scale model viewport, you'd want this set at twenty. In a forty scale model viewport, you'd want it set at forty, so on and so forth. But we're working in paper space; it's one to one. And this is that thing that I just changed over here that was three point oh six. That's what this was, and that's why it came out that way. So we want this as one under standard. Primary units, uh, we probably want, we generally have two of those uh, unless there's leading and trailing zeros and they can be um, suppressed. Um, decimal degrees is fine. Uh, if you want degrees, minutes, and seconds, set those here. Uh, don't worry about the alternative units or alternate units or the, or the uh, uh, tolerances right now. So now when we type in lead and we select this guy now we can just type in adjust banner whoops I'm sorry mtex banner uh, we click out of it or say OK and in fact, this height, it may not look like it because it looks a little weird, but this height is the same as this height. And that's what we need. And then just get rid of these. I'd rather not have anybody using the multi-leader. There are too many, um, I don't know, um, issues with it, if you will. Then if we want to take this and we want to make that a, a splined, or, or whatever the case is, there are ways to, um, to, to make that happen. But you make that happen with, uh, with this guy right here. You can go spline with arrow. If you want spline to be consistent with all of our other labels, that's fine. But there's no way to, to, to convert these to my knowledge. So the best way to, again, do that is just to, we'll just do that. And then install LED, oops, edge lit, a street, name, sign. And then get rid of this one. Same thing with this. We'll put in the leader first of all. We're typing in lead. And install signal uh, faces per plan. Uh, yeah, might be a little bit tight. I think we can make that work though. Or we could move it to another area. 
And so, in fact, I, what I would probably do with this guy is just move it, let's say, to here. And as we move this guy to this side, and then kind of move it back a little bit, that's a little nicer there. And again, we can do a spline with an arrow, or we can set that style to be a spline with an arrow. And that's fine here. We can do that by DDIM again. We'll go back into the box. We'll modify the standard. Uh, lines and arrows. Um, let's see. One of these has the, uh, thought it was lines and arrows, but I could be wrong. Somewhere around here is the, is the setting for the line versus spline. And I thought it was under leader. That's the arrow head. But somewhere around here, I believe there's a there's a place to to set that that line versus spline fitting. So anyway, we'll we'll continue on. If if we can't find it, if it's not part of that, it's not that big a deal because we can just we can change it right over here. So here's another one. We'll do LED. We'll kick this guy up here. And let's see. Uh, we'll get rid of this guy and move this in a little bit better spot there. And then again, we can we can select similar, right click, and it selects only those leaders. And we can use the. Uh, where is it at? Okay, spline with arrow. So now they're all they're all taken care of here. And in fact, this detail is now in a proper form that uh, we should be looking at. Uh, we would do the same thing over here, maybe rearranging some things. We may want to take these guys, uh, at least for the time being, and possibly we're good. This detail C should probably be down below, not up above. Something like that. Uh, and then we can again go into CH space. And if that, if that, if this style is, uh, or this, um, this drawing is good the way we have it here, I'm going to move this detail. I'm not going to worry about the detail. I'm just going to get rid of it for right this moment. And if we make this, it's 0.24, I'm looking at the scale down here, and 0.2, oop, um, I have to unlock that, that model viewport. Okay, so... Maybe we'll make that 1 equals 5, Z 1 over 5, XP. See what that looks like. 1 over 3, XP. That's too... That's too big. Um, and what we may have to do is really crouch this because this is going to be a, uh, a fairly full detail here. So, and we don't want a lot of stuff... Um, uh, crowding it. We'll do a quick regen. That's probably not that big a deal. We may have to adjust this a little bit. We can certainly do that. Um, but we're going to do, uh, we're going to pop into it. We're going to do CH space, change space. We'll select everything in here that pertains to this guy. And when we hit enter, it all pops out. And so what we may have to do, let's take a look. The text size is 08, so the text size is good the way it is. Now we need to somehow fit all this stuff into this view. So we may have to put this guy down here. Um, 
squeeze this stuff in here a little bit a little bit tighter here and make sure we have the proper amount of clearances for all of this and so and by the way this is all in models in paper space now so we can get rid of the model viewport and in fact if we want to we can just scoot this guy over and we'll scoot everything over here and make a little bit more room for that other one okay um, and in fact if this is not here and I'm going to place this down here and I'm going to grab everything here and I'm going to scoot it over to the left using my F8 key I can I can do that and uh, and kind of bring it over here a little bit farther, a little bit nicer, and maybe move this guy back to where it was and still fit in there and adjust this guy a little bit. And so now we actually have room, a little bit nicer room for, for uh, I would probably put this guy down here and maybe this guy up here. And that might be a little nicer uh, scenario for what we're what we're looking at there. And then you can have um, uh, you can place the the detail D uh, underneath here again, and so on and so forth. But that's how I would try to arrange these things and try to make make sure that the text sizes are all correct. Now all the text sizes are 0.08 in both sides. Um, and uh, the leaders and everything should be all the same, and it's a very consistent look.